What's going on here is much more complex than that. Can we skip this? Like, hit the skip button or something? Oh, you don't want to skip this. Yes, we do. Hello there. Sorry from 17 once again. This is my South Park Stick of Truth. Hardcore video walkthrough. This is the snook inside Mr. Slave's ass. Uh, a theme reminiscent of the Someone Snuck a Snook Up Your Snitch episode of South Park. And uh, yeah, this is pretty full on, this sequence. And a lot of it I'm going to leave to your imagination because it's pretty damn fucking horrible. <laughs> but the song is great because it's the Lemmy Winks song. But there are a lot of missable things in this area, so you want to try and do all the battles that you can, you want to loot everything that you can, and you want to pick up everything that you can, because if you don't, uh, you will miss things. And the point of this guide is, is not to pick everything up, it's just learn from my mistakes when you are trying to find the collectibles, that it's incredibly easy to go into an area you can't return to and miss something very small. But uh, this is a weird interaction, this, because there's hardly any of it in the game. Yeah, in here it's a mandatory one. It's a little bit like the Jimmy ones with the handicap signs. Aside from the instances in the main game, there are no other ones around South Park, so it makes it really confusing why you, there's just a single use for them. Because Butters is, happens quite a lot. But then again, none of the buddy interactions are mandatory or really do anything that optional, so maybe that's just an oversight by the devs. You know, they could have perhaps put a little bit more interactivity in there. But the game itself is already so well realized in so many areas that, like, there's a ton to do. And I only notice these things now that I've done almost everything. So it's it's an impressive achievement for a, a game about a, a television show. Because name an, any other game based on a TV show that doesn't suck ultimate anus. It's really challenging to do. Like, even the point-and-click, like, CSI kind of games, which, if you like that type of stuff, it can be quite fun. They're really not that ambitious and incredibly, you know, like, painting by the numbers. So, this game has just managed to, to really represent the show in, in a really perfect way. But this friend request here is missable. If you do not answer that phone, you will never be able to recruit Big Gay Al. Because he's never in the game, and you never see him. Like, you go to his house, and there's always Mr. Slave. There's never Big Gay Al, and I'm... Not too sure why. Because Big Guy Al predates Mr. Slave. There's the Gandalf quote from Cartman. And as you can see, the, the discus we're using destroys these Nazi slimes. Or the Nazi bacteria, as they're called. Ooh, and this is the curse ability. So when you use this move, you have to bash the face buttons. And it does a handful of hits on a direct attack. And if they don't have armor, it does massive damage. So we're going to be using that move to deal some really quick damage against some unarmored targets. Unfortunately, these slimes are pretty armored, actually. What's that? 645 armor? That's pretty decent. And they channel, too. So if you weren't able to get all the channels during the Clyde victory, you can get them in here. That is the weapon I missed as well. I didn't loot that enemy. I needed one weapon out of hundreds, man. So sad. I wish there was a new game plus feature. And speaking of new game plus, in, in Dark Side Dark why do I keep saying Dark Siders, man? I, I haven't played that game in years. I don't want to play that game, but yet I keep saying it. Dark Souls 2, they've changed the new game plus feature. Which if anybody's played that series and anybody's played New Game Plus, you'll know that Dark Souls had a really unique one, and now they've made it even more unique. So I'm really excited to see how that works. But now you've put the batteries back in the torch, you can carry on past the grave of the underpants gnome and up the anal beads. And you can grab the condom cap if you want to. Which looks a little bit like a... <laughs> looks like a bloody a diaphragm. And then here is the hardest boss on the game, in my opinion. The Sparrow Prince. So the first turn, the Sparrow Prince will always summon the regenerating slimes. So I'm going to hit myself with some mana, and I'm going to Nagasaki them, because it's going to kill the slimes, and it's going to damage the Sparrow Prince. One thing to note on this fight, he is immune to bleed, so all my bleed strategies will not work. Instead, we're going to focus on direct damage, and Cartman is going to be our main damage dealer here, because he's going to do massive damage with Curse. 
so just make sure you make the most of things and if you kill him quickly you'll avoid his most powerful stuff but if this fight goes on a little bit longer he starts doing multiple eye laser attacks which do some sick amount of damage but here he goes in the reflect stance when he does that there's always two birds that follow so block the birds and immediately start using your mana potions to, to hit him with Nagasaki's so you can do just some really sick damage here we go and just note when he's in the reflecting stance he will reflect so be very careful because he does massive damage but look at the damage on that Nagasaki man it's insanely powerful and I'm gonna use Cartman to to give my character some more mana and then we're gonna kill him with the Nagasaki so I hit this guy just to waste his turn the the hits actually help me kill him on the next turn so it does work out and unfortunately, I shit my pants, which does happen when you, you have too many of those mana refills. And there is an achievement for doing that, if you're looking for that kind of stuff. Let me wix. What a song. <laughs> oh god, what a good episode, man. If you don't know who Lemmy Winks is, he's the school pet hamster that unfortunately ends up on <laughs> Mr. Slave's ass. And there's a, an amazingly irreverent sequence in one of the episodes where he meets these characters that were fighting to try and get out. It's it's just genius, man. I love it. But time to are we gonna hit him with curse? What are we gonna do? Because I think the reflect stance does it reflect magic or is it just the projectile? I'm not too sure why I'm I'm not seeing why. But. Here we go anyway. Hit him a couple more times with the old stick. Very close to killing him too. If Cartman did a little bit more damage. Here we go. This is the move that really hurts. If he hits nobody but one character with this move, they will die. You see that? Three hits on Cartman, one hit on me. Cartman's almost dead. So. Yeah, do not mess with the Sparrow Prince. He's incredibly powerful and he makes the last boss look like a joke. He really does. But there you go. Once that's... Once he's been defeated, you need to come over here and turn on this this vibrator thing to get rid of a buildup of, yeah, that. So, you know, fun stuff happening in this level. Incredibly sick stuff. <laughs> but once you've nagasaki the the pool ball, you need to uh, use the anal probe to get on here and turn this on. And watch this incredibly unnecessary <laughs> cutscene. <laughs> and then from here we can carry on and we're going to fight some soldiers. So the soldiers are the standard SWAT guys. Uh, compared to the Sparrow Prince, you're not going to have any difficulties here because they fight just like all the soldiers have fought and it's not very impressive. <laughs> More Gandalf lines from Cartman. And just wicked damage with the discus. It's an insanely powerful weapon. Oh, the curse is not going to be very good here because he's got nearly 2,000 armor. That's a mistake on my part. I should have farted on both of them and, caught, and set them on fire. Cool thing is, the bleed is going to do about 2,000 damage just because of how much life they've got. So, these guys are not going to last very long. <laughs> that's a great line that the pedophile says that sometimes as well when you beat him tell my wife I wasn't that into her but after the cutscenes we're going to be performing an abortion our first of the game because of censorship but it's pretty much the same mini game that you did against uh, Randy earlier on if you have the American version it involves using Jimmy to open this door because it's a handicap button and then once that's been done, the minigame begins. And if you do any of these minigames wrong, it's immediate fail state. It shows you the credits, and then it's the end. So you want to wait for the needle to be pointing towards the area it needs to go before you hold down. On this sequence, after you press A, slowly rotate the analog to the left. Don't go nuts. If you do it too fast, sometimes it just doesn't work. It just doesn't register. And then on this one, you just want to follow the prompt. So hold left on the analog. When you suck up a chip, hold right, like that, and then wait for it again. This music's amazing too. 
And once you do this correctly, you will have finished the abortion and you'll stop the snook. So that's the end of the video, guys. Completely inappropriate and awesome. Thank you for watching. You take care now.